Now about the pledging, so far we have about 90 people that have registered their pledges. You may not know how uh, great that is. First of all, that there are already 90 people that have committed their money to the Lord. Without us giving them fake promises, without us lying, just communicating to people and they choose to pledge. That is a battle in the realm of the spirit. It is a real war, it's a real battle. The devil wouldn't want people to commit their money to the Lord. Because he knows that is going to hurt his kingdom. And secondly, the fact that all those people are plagued in January, not in June or May, it means most of them start supporting the ministry from the beginning of the year. Because people have already begun fulfilling their pledges in January. There is someone who has already fulfilled 242,000 of our annual pledge in this month. Out of half a million pledge, almost half is already fulfilled in January. So that is good when people pledge early. There is someone who sends almost every day or two, three days. They keep fulfilling their pledge. Another one fulfilled uh, 200,000 of that. Another one fulfilled, uh, has fulfilled 150 of their annual pledge. Another one sent 50,000. So people are beginning to fulfill their pledges in Someone has so far sent another one 67,000 of their pledge. Another one 18,000. Another one 210,000. And they also sent their tithe. Of one ten thousand, and added their offer to the forty-four thousand. So that person sent at once three different kinds of giving. She sent in three hundred sixty-four thousand at once. And the family also fulfilled their monthly pledge for January. Of 420,000. Those ones are giving 420,000 every month. Till the end of the year. So people are capturing the aspect of giving. And if you have not yet made your pledge. You are late. Because though we have 90 people on the list so far, we still need 210 people. And uh, ideally, they should have all come in by the 31st of January. So, in these remaining three, four days, uh, I would expect 210. 10 people to make their pledges. And that is my faith until 31st comes to an end. It is only time that can go ahead of me, but me, I believe to the end. So I want you to join me so that we can have at least 210 people making their fresh pledges by 31st. Of course, when you look here, we don't have two ten people that have not yet made their pledges. That, what does that mean? It means they are in your phone book. They are in your contacts at work. 
They are in your family. I want you to reach out to all those people. And encourage them to be a part of this. Because it will bless them and it will bless the kingdom. There is this young lady. That keeps encouraging me. I, I have lost count of how many people she has uh, influenced to make their pledges. I think they could be reaching 10. One of them, uh, she talks to her high school friends. She has not even spent a year in this ministry. If I'm to remember well, I think she joined around September. August last year. But she mobilized money for Kaliro Mission. She told everybody I think she knows. And uh, she was one of the people that mobilized the biggest monies to Kaliro. And after Kaliro, the moment I said let's engage everyone in the pledging, fasting and uh, praying, she talked to everyone. And she's still talking to everyone. And I'll tell you what, how the latest is very encouraging. So she talked to one of her high school friends. And that friend uh, contributed, pledged 750,000. So this young lady, I've never seen her, the, the friend of hers. This friend of hers has never come here and we have even never seen her physically. But now she attends the prayers with us online. And she's among the people that have begun fulfilling their pledges in January. Of her 750, she already sent the 50,000. And she said, when I get, I'm going to send more. Just influenced by a friend. Who is part of our ministry. Just like you. And then she also talked to some girl who has just gone to her Essex bath. And when she explains to them, she tells them to record a voice note to me. She gets the voice note and she forwards it to me. And they all say, Apostle Henry, I'm glad my friend joined me to the program. I'm also praying, fasting, and I want to make my pledge. And she says, I want to make my pledge now. And that, that, that Essex Vac said, I will be sending 25,000 every month. And that will be my pledge of 300,000 a year. I think those were like two of them. And then when they reported to campus, just in this one week, she talked to, to, to her classmates, I believe. And then one of her classmates also pledged 400,000. And she sent me a voice note also. So she, that, that friend of us sent me a voice note. I fellowshiped with you last semester. Now my friend has told me about this praying, fasting, and pledging. And I'm going to come back and fellowship with you again. And my pledge is going to be 400,000. I was like, wow. And uh, just as I was getting glad over that, the same person sends me another voice note from one of our friends in the UAE. And uh, she says this one was my high school friend. But now she's working in the UAE. And she also pledged half a million shares. And she sent me that voice note also. Whenever I see her voice note, I feel I need to listen to it. Amen. Now, uh, let me go to another one. And I think just on the same day, I think all this happened on Thursday, the same person 
sends me now a voice note from her brother. Now it is over kwa wedo bozo kuva wa mukanda we. Who is just joining S1? Ari mukwega taku ari mukingira senior 1. He just got his results and he got a good second grade. Ya kafuna results na afuna second grade nnungi. Ye mwana ya yise ne yebaza mukama. He excelled and he thanked God. Because for you may think the second grade is not good. Go inzo kwa second grade si nnungi. But this is what she told me. Ne chino che yagambye. Actually that was yesterday. Ngaba dogulo. There is one I missed on Thursday. Mm. Ono ebyo no wa S1 we are yesterday. So she told me that my, my, that's my little brother. Nagambo ye muto wange. 120,000 is his annual pledge. Agenda kuwa yo emitwaro 12 mwaka. Chikubire kenga lo wa S1 ye ye ama. Ira nagamba next week. And she said next week he is to send in his tenure for this month. He has begun saving as of now. And then before they report back to school as senior ones on 19th February. He will pay advance for the months will be at school from his pocket money and savings. I take time to give you these testimonies so that you can be inspired and challenged. Amen. Because if someone is doing this, what are you doing? If every transformer was doing this, we would be having 300 people with their pledges on the list. The issue is some people are working a lot and others are not doing anything about it. They just say amen. Others don't even listen to these things. They don't listen to them in the group. They don't come to church. We send them to their inboxes and after three days they say, I've not even listened. But yet the blue ticks are there. That is the problem that we have in church. If we can all have the solidarity to work on these things. This work is easy. This is one person doing all this. She actually sent me another one. I saw the voice note. This one is also to pay 42,000 monthly till December. But for January payment, she's to pay for it later on with February because she's just settling in at her workplace. So that is half a million shillings also pledged to the Lord. One person is bringing all this. What if I had just 10 of these? Only, only 20 of these. This thing would be like already in 500 people. And you know what happens? When that money comes in, it is the devil to be hard. The more money we have, the more we will be able to expand this place in Jesus' name. We don't have a deficit of what we use the money for. Even if God gave us a million dollars right now, we cannot run mad. Because we have already what goes beyond one million dollars in need. The first thing would be to transform this into a transformation city. We still have sound equipment to buy. We thank God we have the stage now. But it is just one of many that we are supposed to purchase because the time is going to come and we are running a five in one mission in five districts 
And all of them have to be at the Jesus level that we want. So we don't have a deficit of vision. And God has given us the human resource. That is our greatest asset. People are willing to serve the Lord. We bless the Lord. But the only deficit we have is financial. So the more money we can get into the kingdom, the bigger things we can do, and the more things we can do. If someone is making S6 vacists and S1 entrance, or PL or E graduates pledge, mm. Mm. then what about the people you work with? What about your mother, your auntie? Perhaps she's in first year at campus and those are the people she can reach out to. And they are pledging half a million. They are pledging 750,000. They are pledging at least 120,000. In S1. For, for you, don't you have people? Really, you don't have people in the world? Why can't you get 10 people into this? 10 people. Ask your neighbor, this age, you don't have 10, those 10 people that can give at least 10,000 every month, even though they don't have a pocket money. Senior one, student. Out of their pocket money. They are saying they are going to start saving 10,000. And by the coming of the week, they will give in their 10,000. That should challenge us. And if I don't challenge, you will be ashamed. I demand at least 10 people. Even the 300, God will help us and we shall surpass that number. If everyone does what they are supposed to do. I know we need at least 300. But the ones beyond 300, it is God who knows whether they will be a thousand or ten or five, I don't know. So you talk to people and be serious. Because I know this lady is serious. From the way people respond, you can tell she's serious. We have spent some time on this. Because we don't want to talk a lot about this in the month of February. If we all do what we are supposed to do, and we raise this battle at least 300 people. We shall talk about other things from February. So that we can make progress. So all of you that are online. All of you that are in this place. All of you that are listening to me after this service. Please. Do whatever you can do. And let us populate this list in Jesus' name. Clap those hands unto Jesus. People are sending in their first fruit. Someone just sent in their first fruit of three ten thousand. And she, she already made a pledge. But she sent me a message. And she said, uh, please don't confuse that with my pledge fulfillment. She was among the first ones to make their annual pledge. And her pledge was 1.6 million for the year. Now she has made a pledge. And she said, I will start in Feb to give 160,000 per month. Little did I know that the reason she wants to start from Feb probably is because she already planned to give her first fruit in January. So, 
Some people are really capturing this. And she's among the people that fulfilled their pledge last year promptly. Hallelujah. Amen. And someone here says via Zoom that a friend of mine has sent me this. I am believing God for 50,000 per month. So people are encouraging me. And there are those who are boring me. And uh, I choose to look at those who are encouraging us. Amen. Amen. I choose to focus on the encouragers. And I pray you'll be one of the encouragers. In Jesus' name. Ask your neighbor, are you among the encouragers? All the discouragers. Amen. Let us do this all of us. From today to the end of the month. Let us do it in power. In the name of Jesus. Amen.